Hello, Pisces. How are you doing? How are you feeling? What's the vibe? What is up? You would be so proud of me, Pisces. I am so hydrated right now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that, but just know I have been drinking water, my loves. Probably because you're the you're the exalted water sign, if you ask me. Queen of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Pisces, what are you building? What are you working on? What you got going on here? Oh my god. Star card and the moon card reverse. Normally the moon card sometimes brings a feeling of concern and caution, but Pisces, because it's you. I feel like you're vibing with the energy of the moon pretty strongly right now and you are getting some crazy downloads, some dreams, some, you might be doing some magic, some healing, some subconscious, subconscious healing, looking at the stars, looking at the planets, just really being lost in the cosmos and I love that for you. I love that for me too, Pisces, you're my opposite, so seven of swords here and the king of pentacles. I don't know if I necessarily feel like Earth energy is your friend right now, but emotions are Queen of Cups here reversed. I feel like um, Earth signs are going through it right now. Look, Queen of Swords. I'm seeing more of um, feminine energy around you right now. Seems more supportive than the masculine energy, especially when it comes to Earth. Why? Because I'm an Earth sign, and let me tell you, sometimes we can pop dreams and pop bubbles and pop chop up visions because we are too realistic and practical don't talk to us <laughs> go ahead and click out of this video actually right now <laughs> i'm just kidding now, the fact that i see that this is your need right now i'm going to be very cautious and aware to not kill your hopes and your dreams and your visions i'm going to do my best to support you <laughs> turn off my virgo vibe i mean half the time i'm always talking with spirit anyways it's not me and if it is me, I always say to my clients or to you guys or to my friends, listen, just as your friend would say this, but me as your spiritual reader, this is what I'm going to say. And they're two different things more than half of the time. Anyways, Pisces, we got a new project, something that is sparking new life, new joy, new energy within you. It feels very impulsive feels very erratic you might be second guessing yourself just a little bit but it's okay it happens life is meant to be one big weird adventure am I right like it gets weirder every other day if you ask me every day it's something Queen of Wands what are you building I feel like Pisces you're really tapping into your creative energy your creative resources you're building um, wealth for yourself is what's really coming through and that's really what you want i'm feeling that you are being called to trust in the guidance of your gifts right now like where are you being led where are we going like where do you want to go what do you want to see manifest go ahead and trust in that and start to seep yourself deeper into that vision without without second guessing the fact that you know is this real is this practical is this logical can this happen of course it can pisces you're pisces you're Pisces. The fact that you are so out of touch with reality right now is the best thing because what is real anyway, you know? What is real? Hmm. We have the man here. Man at home, woman. Interesting. So Pisces, did you return home? Do you need to go home? Do you need to go to your sanctuary? Do you need to go to a safe space, a safe place? where you can just allow those creative juices to flow or something end, oh my gosh, something is ending here. And, and then an ending in the home environment, a new home, what's happening here? Are you selling a home, moving, what's going on? I'm also being called to kind of tell you, this is probably for your highest and greatest good. And by probably, I mean, definitely. I'm also getting a strong sense of community and friendships around you. Be open to new friends and new connections. Don't look at them as annoyances and hindrances to you. You need to find your soul tribe or spend more time with them. I don't know where that's coming from, but it's definitely coming from a place. Yeah, my loves, there's something here that's kind of calling you to move forward. Everyone is getting the four of wands. Everyone, if it's not, ah! I knew it, I was gonna say, if it's not the four of wands, it's the lovers. If you don't believe me, it's right here. You saw me shuffling the cards. I would never lie to you. I would never lie to you. All right, Pisces, let's talk. So, 
I'm really seeing things coming into fruition, but in order for that to happen, you kind of have to say goodbye to one comfort zone and move into the next. I don't know what that's gonna look like for you, everybody's different, but it's going to require a lot of confidence, it's gonna require a lot of self-assurance, and you have to really invest in yourself and be open to this transformation and this transition. You can't get stuck in this old toxic way, this old toxic lifestyle, or this old toxic home, or this old toxic comfort zone because it wasn't serving you. It wasn't serving you. It was leaving you feel left out, down and out. Nine of Wands is here. It's beating you up, making you exhausted, making you feel kind of stressed out. And Spirit is like, listen, we have a good time for you right now. You're here for a good time, not a long time. That means that we only have tick, 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 a short amount of time on Earth. That means it's not a lot of time. That's not a lot of time. So go ahead and leave those comfort zones, my love, in order to go ahead and fulfill a prophecy of vision, especially when it comes to your happily ever after, the things that you want to see come to fruition. Yeah, veil, veils parting, you're going to start to see. You're going to start to see it if you haven't already if you haven't already seen it, my loves. At the center of your reading, we have the Nine of Cups here. So this is something that, is that you really, really want to see come to fruition. You want to see manifest. And the chariot is showing up, showing me that you are clearly moving to setting in new roots for yourself, stabilizing into a new, happier, healthier environment. And we love that for you. And then also the Ace of Cups is here with the Eight of Cups reversed. This means don't be afraid to say goodbye, despite all of the emotions that might be coming up, that might be resurfacing. It's honestly... You have Six of Cups here. You guys might be returning back to an old home, an old space, an old friend, an old reunion, an old alignment, something that you thought that you would never come back to or you're kind of questioning your own independence. Am I still independent? Yes, of course you are. You're choosing. The fact that you can choose shows independence. And some of you guys are like, well, I didn't get to choose. But you did because you, you kind of call these experiences. All right, Pisces, so sorry about that. My camera storage was like, we're, we're good. <laughs> But I can see that Spirit is telling you not to resist change right now. In fact, when I was figuring out that my storage was full, I saw sexual energy here. So you really want to kind of trust these new sparks in your life because it's going to open up to a really strong desire that Spirit clearly wants to see manifesting within your life. Yeah, protection here. This is confirmation that you are being protected that you are protected and when I see the garden here time for nurturing this means that you go into this four of wands type of energy maybe that makes sense now I'm starting to think about it cancer the sun just moved to the sign of cancer and cancer is a space that it is that we feel like we belong where we're happiest and or we're comforted and the four of wands here wants to stabilize maybe that's why the four of wands keeps showing up but it also connects us to the things and the people and the places that feel like home to us and like what is that for you this space where you feel safe where you feel at home when you feel at ease and you could just be you meanwhile pisces we have pine here so balance the emotions you know I feel like you're feeling maybe a little bit cloudy because you might be scared or you might be disappointed or conflicted with where your life and your journey is taking you right now. But honestly, Pisces, there's no need for that. You're in good hands, I promise. All right, you guys. So I know that the lighting is a little off right now. I wasn't planning on filming on my MacBook, but it is what it is. Pisces, go ahead. If this video made sense to you, if it resonated, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button because it helps me out a whole lot. Believe me with my reach out into the world and me sharing my messages. Um, I do also want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.